Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the first in a series of video tutorials on how to create a simple visual city in Unity 5. Okay, so this series will be based on making a, a simple looking city which you can use for example in an open world game or a first person game. Um, okay, so this window is Unity 5. If you've just got Unity 5 um, and it looks like this, we're going to run through it now. So over here you have your hierarchy. Now the hierarchy is where you contain all your objects within this game scene. When you start a new scene, you'll have by default two items here in your hierarchy. And as you can see, they're in this game scene. So the game scene is where you literally see everything you put in. Um, not much more to say about it, to be honest. Next to the game scene over here is the actual game itself. This is where you play what you've created in the scene view. Down below here, you have uh, your project and asset window. So anything you uh, import, any materials you create, any textures, any scripts, things like that, are all down here in this window. Over here you have the inspector pane. Now the inspector pane is where you can change options, you can play around with uh, different things with your objects. Like for example, we currently have the directional lights um, on. Uh, over here you can change the intensity, you can change the color, you can change pretty much anything in the inspector window. Up here, right next to the little padlock, is an option to change to debug. Now, during this series, we will be changing between the two, which uh, it depends what we're going to do and how we're going to play around with the objects we input. Up here, you have the usual file. Um, so, if you have not even at this point yet, to create a new Unity project, when you start up Unity, you'll be given this window. All you would need to do is put in your project name, where you want to uh, save it to, and click create project. And as you see, I've already done that just here. So your other options in file menu are building and saving scenes and whatever. Uh, you've got your usual edit menu, which eh, I'm not really going to explain too much into it now. It's, I mean, Delete. You know how to delete things. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you know how to copy and paste things. Uh, you got your assets. We'll use that later. Game objects. This uh, will come in very handy. Uh, it's where you can input many, many different game objects. Whether it's audio, whether it's uh, 3D objects, um, GUI, things like that. Uh, your components. We'll get into. That's where you can add different components. For example, um, a rigid body into your object. And then you've got your windows, and you can see your animator, things like that, game, scene, it's these windows here, and then the help. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do here, and as we've quickly been over uh, Unity 5, um, we're going to start with something very, very simple, as this is for beginners. So if you, if you don't consider yourself a beginner in Unity 5, um, this tutorial series may be a, a little slow for you, it may not be exactly what you want, as the general idea is to give people who are brand new to Unity a few different ideas, um, a few different things to think about and play with. So first of all, up here, go to Game Object, go to 3D Object, and you'll notice we have a few different little options. My favourite, if you've seen any of my other series, is Cube. Cube can always solve everything in Unity. So, if you click here on this hand, hold down the left mouse button, you can move around the scene. If you hold the right button, you can pivot. If you have a mouse with a wheel, scroll up to zoom in and scroll out. Uh, scroll down to zoom out. So I'm just going to move this roughly into the center and now I'm going to click on this just here, the arrows, and you'll notice three different colored arrows 
appear on our cube. So the green is the y-axis, the red is the x-axis, and the blue is the z or z-axis for all you North Americans. So just to make one thing clear, I am uh, English. Uh, I do say Z, not Z. So if you ever hear me say Z and you don't say Z, I mean Z. So over here on transform, we have the position set as some very strange figures right now. So what I'm going to do is set them to 0, 0, 0. Over here, click on the cube and press right click and rename and I'm simply going to call this one for now asphalt 001 so double click to zoom into your object and what we're going to do now is we're going to play around with the scale so we'll change the X scale and we'll put that as let's see let's put that as 20. let's change the y to 0 0.25 we may change that later on and we'll also change the z or z axis to 20. so now you can see you will have a kind of very white screen to refocus simply double click on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hand and just adjust the scene so as it looks a little better. Okay, next thing we need to do is if you go to game object and create empty, it just creates an empty object with literally nothing attached to it. Over here in the hierarchy, right click, rename, and we'll call this, um, let's see, what should we call it? Asphalt without numbers. Next thing you need to do is if you click back on your Asphalt 001 and drag and drop into Asphalt, the empty game object. Now, the reason we do that is because we, it kind of helps our hierarchy look a little tidier you'll notice a little uh, triangle appears next to the empty game object called Asphalt. If you click it, it collapses everything below it. It keeps everything tidy. Okay, so next thing we'll do is we will go to Game Object, 3D Object, and Cube again. And once again, over here on transform position, we'll put 0, 0, 0. And let's double click to zoom in. What we'll do now is we will change the scale again. And we'll put X as, let's also put it as 20. Uh, let's put the um, Y as... That's 0.5 and the Z or Z axis, let's put that as um, how about 10? Okay, so now you've got a big white screen again over here. Right click and rename, and we'll call this Sidewalk 001. So I'm going to take this hand icon and I'm going to shift my scene around using the left and right buttons and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So things are looking very kind of white everywhere now. The reason they look so white is because of our directional light just here. So what I'm going to do is over here you'll see strength. Let's decrease our strength to zero. Let's change our color to, let's change it to a kind of uh, a browny yellowy kind of color about there. And we'll also change the intensity to 0 0.25. So 
So everything looks kind of blue now, but don't worry about that too much. So back over here on your double arrow icon, hold control with sidewalk 001 selected, hold the left mouse button on the blue arrow, the Z axis or Z, and shift it this way until you see a dark blue line just there. You'll be able to see just here that we have moved it away from our asphalt. So what we'll do now is select the double arrow again, hold control, hold left mouse on the blue Z arrow and pull it closer like that. So the idea of what we've done here, you should be able to see, is this is our asphalt just here and this is our sidewalk, our pavement. So what we need to do is we need to just pull up this sidewalk a little. So if you zoom out, left hold click on green arrow, which is the Y axis, and pull it up very gently to about there. It doesn't have to be perfect down here because down here we won't actually get to see when we play our game. Okay, so at the moment we've created a simple sidewalk and a simple uh, road, asphalt. So the next thing we'll do is we'll create a, a simple little building. So I'm just going to turn the scene around a touch. There. Okay, what I'll do is another trick. Click on your sidewalk, hold control and press D. That will duplicate your current selection. So in this case, we've duplicated Sidewalk 001 and it's automatically been renamed Sidewalk 002. So I'm going to right click and rename and I'm going to call this uh, Shop 001 and press enter. Now we'll play around with the uh, scale just here. So we'll change the X scale to, let's see, um, change it to 12, maybe 10. Okay, 10 is fine. Uh, we'll change the Y axis to um, 5 and we'll keep the Z as 10. So now if you hold control and pull up just there, you'll notice just down here there is a little gap. So all you need to do is very gently pull your object down until there is no more gap. It doesn't matter too much if they overlay, you can always fine tune just here. So for example, let's change the Y position to 2.75 and you will notice that this goes down just a little more. So let's change it to 2.9 I think and that'll do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and I'm going to take this object back to about there. You'll notice it overlays just here. If that's not acceptable in the future, we can always change and move it. I'm going to move it just over here to the edge there. Okay, what we'll do is we will quickly tidy up our hierarchy just here using the same principle we did for the asphalt. So game object, create empty, right click, rename, and we'll call this shops. So drag and drop shop 001 into shops and once again game object create empty right click rename and we'll call this side walk and then we'll drag and drop. So now we have several objects in our scene 
So if we click all the triangles just here and collapse, and everything looks a little tidier. Um, okay, what we'll do is the final thing in uh, this episode. If you click on your shop 001, hold control and press D to duplicate it, and then hold control and just pull that uh, red arrow across. And you'll notice just here you now have two shops. It's automatically renamed the second one as number two. So you can select each individual shop by clicking here. However, if you click on in the hierarchy the parent object, in this case the empty object named shops, it will select everything under it. So it will select both of our shops. Okay, so um, we'll leave this tutorial there for now. Let's just zoom out a little. So in this episode, uh, we've basically learned how to use the Unity interface. We've inserted a few objects and we've we've played around a little. So in our next episode, uh, which should be coming fairly soon, uh, we'll be looking at inputting a few more objects, arranging them nicely and applying a few textures to make our scene look a little more uh, realistic. So um, like I say, we'll leave this tutorial there for now. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.